Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you. And today's topic is about starvation, thirst, and how undead hunger plays into the mechanics for, for starvation and thirst. The specific question I was asked was, are there rules for starvation and thirst? I'm asking because I can't seem to find any and I'm curious if the undead hungers fall under those rules. For example, do they need to feed as often as mortal beings or do they only need to feed once per day? All right, so first of all, let's take a look at what the, the normal rules are for starvation and thirst. The rules basically say that if a character does not eat and drink, then they're going to suffer some penalties and even health loss. So the first stage of that is if the GM determines that the players have not had enough food and drink to be comfortable, then they can impose the fatigued condition on them. There's no hard rule for for how long a character has to go without a meal or without a drink before fatigue sets in. This is solely at the discretion of the GM. But if the GM rules that they have not had enough food and drink to be comfortable, then they can suffer the fatigue condition. The fatigued condition imposes a negative one status penalty to armor class and all saving throws, and a character who is suffering from fatigue cannot use any exploration activities. They're too distracted by their hunger. Now, the second stage of starvation of thirst kicks in after a number of days, and that number of days is equal to con modifier plus one. So for example, if a person has a con score of 12, their modifier is plus one, that's going to mean two days without food and drink, they're going to start suffering more complications beyond being fatigued. The first of those is if they have not had any water after that period of time, then they're going to suffer 1d4 damage every hour until they get water to drink. And if they go that period of time without any food, then they're going to suffer one point of damage per day until they feed. So that covers the standard rules for starvation and thirst, but the second part of the question that was asked had to deal with undead hunger. Now, undead hunger is a trait that is part of being an undead player character, and that is included in the Book of the Dead with all of the new player options included for being an undead PC there. So if we read this trait, undead hunger, it says, while you don't eat or drink the same food as humans do, you usually have thirsts and hungers related to your undead state, such as a ghoul's hunger for humanoid flesh, a zombie's craving for brains, and a vampire's desire for blood. So if you're playing any of these undead PCs, you're going to have to substitute what you normally eat as a regular mortal being for a special food that is determined by your undead type. For example, skeletons don't have to eat, but they do have to gather bones from other creatures to use to repair themselves. Now the question had to deal with how often does an undead creature have to feed in, or, or sate their, their special hunger in order to, I guess, uh, avoid any penalties. There's nothing in the description that I've seen that, that gives a hard number. In fact, the only thing I think that is intended by this trait is just to say what you eat is different. And there's, there's nothing here that changes the amount of uh, times you need to feed or if it's once per day or three times a day or what have you, it's just changing what it is that you need to eat in order to survive. So vampires need blood. Now they are going to have to feed on blood at basically the same rate that a human would need to feed on, on regular food and drink before they become fatigued. And if they go their con modifier plus one in days without having blood, then they're going to start suffering damage because of that. So again, my take on this is that undead hunger is not changing at all. The frequency in which an undead creature needs to feed um, is only changing what they need to feed on. So this does leave a lot of area open to GM interpretation. GMs are going to have to be the, the determining factor for when a person becomes fatigued. And beyond that, with undead hungers, there's no guidance given if, if a particular uh, hunger is considered food or thirst or both. Um, my take on it would be I would consider all of it thirst because that is the, um, the, the higher penalty for not consuming. 
uh, than just strictly saying, you know, brains are food, so they only suffer one point of damage per day from, from starvation if they don't get it. I would consider it thirst and do the 1d4 damage per hour if they go beyond constitution plus one days because hunger is so central to what these undead creatures are, are craving. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. I'll leave links in the description of this video for any other related topics I've made videos on. And as always, I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to everybody out there who supports me, whether that's by leaving your comments, your suggestions for future videos, sharing the videos with your friends, clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, subscribing to the Patreon, buying a super thanks. I really appreciate everything you folks do to support me. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.